also made it incredibly difficult for us to find the lines. Uh, the, the wind and these valleys just tra made the sound travel in all sorts of strange directions. By the way, my name is Brent Leo Smith. I've got Dangerous Dave the Dish on camera. And uh, finally, as the sun popped up this morning, um, we were tracking the roars of a lion and we finally managed to find him. I actually tracked his footprints, which is not something we get to do too often in the Mara. Unfortunately, he is in a gremlin zone at the bottom of this little ravine, uh, but he has been moving quite a lot. Oh, he's found something nice and smelly there to rub on. Now, this is one of the Black Rock Boys. Um, there are two of them, and they are extremely impressive male lions, and that is something the Mara has got plenty of. Remember, hashtag Safari Live if you've got any questions for us. So this is an area we haven't been in since oof, Earth Live. So a good few months ago. Um, so Davi and I decided to come explore. And uh, we followed quite a few different lions last night. Some went to Tanzania. Uh, some went into gremlin zones. And... Uh, it has been a, a bit of a trying evening, but it's always great to be out um, and just as provided you've got enough layers. So I think, how many layers do I have on here? I've got one sugar, two sugar, one big jacket, one medium jacket, one jersey, one safari shirt, one t-shirt, <laughs> uh, two pairs of tracksuit pants. And uh, probably the reason I'm so cold is because I um I did it I didn't pack so well when we left yesterday and um I forgot my boots in our tent at Silas. So I'm wearing flip flops which is quite cold or sandals. And uh I, and speaking of not packing well, I really didn't pack well when we came across. I forgot my, my shaver, so I do apologize for the bedraggled look I'm sporting at the moment. And of course the hair gets quite knotty when one's sleeping on a vehicle for two nights. But um after the drive today Dave lost the line. He hasn't moved, Dev. There he is. <laughs> um, after drive today, uh, a really hot shower at Silas is going to be uh, going to be definitely worthwhile. Hi, Nick. Nick is wondering how many prides of lions are in this area. Well, the main pride in this part of the world is the Black Rock Pride. Um, and then down towards the Sand River. And there's another pride that comes in from Tanzania. I'm not sure of their name. Uh, and further south, not too far from here, is Silas Pride, who we started the evening off, uh, off with. And uh, to the east of us is the Supa Pride, or the Ula Muintik Pride. And uh, they're also a very big pride. Now, he's heading in a great direction, but um, we're going to have to cross some gremlin areas to get there. So if we have a look, if we have a look on that crest over there, and I know because we were over there earlier trying to find where the lion roars were coming on, a little bit to the right, Darby. Oh, no, yes, there. Now, just over that hill is a few thousand wildebeest, and... Uh, so he's heading in a sort of right direction towards where the herds are. Uh, quite a lot of the herds in this area are heading south, heading for the Serengeti. But we're not seeing those big masses like we did earlier. The herds are very, very, very spread out. And um, where's he gone now? So uh, oh, someone was wondering, sorry, I missed the name. The wind is really strong up here. Uh, how, what's the average sort of lion pride? William, there we go. Thank you. Thank you, William. Um, thank you, Chantel. Uh, what is the... Oh, he's across the river again. He's on our side. Um, what is the average pride size um, territory for for pride here? It's not as big as you would expect. Um, it's probably around between two and 5,000 hectares, which is probably about half of what you would expect from an, an, uh, a lion pride in the, the Great Kruger. Now it all depends, uh, the closer to the Mara River, the smaller the, 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 pri uh, the territories are, uh, and the Sand River and the Talek. Uh, so among the main watercourses, uh, the pride sizes are smaller, but as you head into the big, vast open grasslands, the pride sizes can, oh, the pride territory sizes can become a bit bigger. So it all depends on the area that they, they control. So the lines that control the high density 
high density uh, prey numbers, so around rivers, waterholes, etc., um, their territory sizes will be smaller than the ones that uh, have to work hard out in the vast open grassland. Now, of course, they only have to work hard when the migration isn't here. Uh, so <laughs> times, times are about to get tough for some of the lions in the Mara. But while we're going to stick with him to see if he crosses uh, the gremlin zone and carries on up onto that ridge uh, where we will will be in a grand signal. Uh, it sounds like Tristan has started off his morning with a great grey beast.